look, we're right here on 55th and Garfield. This is like man, 55th and Garfield. This is like the the birthplace over here, man. Yeah, Not yeah. Not really the birthplace, but this is the place where we all hung out crazy. Right, right, right. Funny thing happened. Ran into this guy right here. This K. guy, Ko Razin. Yo, yo, this is Ko Razin KTV YouTube. Yeah. Check it out. I'm here with. Pugs Adams. Ah, look at that, look at that. I call him Apollo Kenton, but you know. Yeah, that's, that's another that's story. Cool right there. Yeah. yeah. What's up, man? You in the country? Yeah, for a few days. For a few days, for and what days. what you yeah. got going on? I uh, just came to do the radio and HP, you know, CTA radio, and, mm -hmm. and a bunch of recording, really, man. Like the gents, we're gonna do some new music, and then like uh, I'm gonna try to finish shooting this video for the song with uh, me, Psalm One, and the Dog while I'm here. Wow. Like, the first single on my uh, my record with BB called The Decade. It comes out in October. Okay. So okay. Look for it. Look yeah. for it. The Decade. The decade. Uh, yeah. All so right. it's like a best of collection. Like it's a few new songs, but. BBE was, you know, they wanted to do a project just to encompass what I've been doing over the last 10 years. Right, so, right, right. I mean, for me, it was like, wow, you know, that's cool. Something different. So does being involved with all these uh, different uh, projects help you stay uh, prolific? Like yeah, doing it keeps stuff you with, moving. Yeah, it keeps, keeps you, you moving. Because, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, earlier we were talking about how, like, sometimes you don't feel like making a song. You know? Right, right, like, right. I mean, you get to switch on and off with the different movements and different sounds. So it right. keeps, you, keeps you rolling when right. you get tired of writing this kind of record or writing records for this album. Right, you could take a break maybe from your own shit yeah. to go do something with yeah. some other people yeah. and everything. Yeah. yeah. When you come back, you feel good. You know? Right, you right. Rejuvenate. It, right, know, right, right, right. Uh, uh, you still like doing the the show uh, when you can? Yeah, I mean that's something I've been waiting to do for years. So, <laughs> yeah. When I finally got to do it, I was like, I'm gonna do it till I can't do it. Yeah. Right, right, right. That's cool. That's cool, man. Um, uh, so what what do you try to um play when you up there at the station? Ah, uh, just good music, man. Like I always try to play stuff if I was listening to my my iPod or whatever. Right. What I would want to hear to keep me moving, you know, on mm -hmm. my journey, you know. So just really just good music and new stuff that you haven't heard. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the beginning of us doing a show, like me and Taiwan, I think we're up there, and a girl called in. She was like, I love the show, but you never play songs I know. And I was like, yeah, that's the point. Like, it's not really supposed to be, you yeah. know, your GCI and all that. You right. know, because, I mean, it's nothing wrong with playing songs you know because you get into it. It's like you're at the party. You want to sing along. You want to dance to it. But our mission is more hipping you to something that you 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 might really like, and then you you in turn it could become your song. Right, you right. Know? Yeah, because a lot of people they might um, they know certain songs because they hear them all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so. so we uh, want to be the outlet for the. Right, the outlet for 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 the, the the local cats. You still play a lot of local music. Yeah, we do a lot of local, but uh, I mean we move more global just in me traveling and Maxi traveling, and then also I mean Chicago is not a secret anymore. A lot right. Of the artists here are doing their thing, so I mean. Now it's, you know, some of the artists that aren't getting shot, so, you know, we mess with a lot of the younger artists now. Right. We try to let people hear them, like your, your Vic Mensa, your Impolite Society, uh, your YP, your uh -huh. Nick Omido. You know, all sides of the spectrum, but the newer artists that are, you know, coming out trying to do it. All right, so so you traveling abroad, you know, you going over there and, uh, you know, doing shows there, you doing stuff here. Is there a difference with the uh, crowds in the States to the crowds, like, over in Europe? Uh, well, I mean, for me, it's a big difference because it's like I'm an import, so I have an accent, you know, mm -hmm. I, you know, it's a whole different kind of thing where it's just somebody coming from London or Europe here right. for me. You're like, oh, wow, you're totally different from me. Let me see what you're doing. But also, too, I mean, it's uh, a support for, like, the more golden era style. You right. Know? And, I mean, I have some of that in my music with some new things as well, but... It definitely is like a, a open audience and people are ready just to have fun. Right. And I mean, people are already here, but it's it's so segmented mm -hmm. in a way, and it's it's different because hip hop has been here. You know, hip hop has been there, but not as long. So a right. lot of things still to them they hold deep within you know certain rules in hip hop and you know what you're talking about. You know, so I mean, for me that's really really good because my music is all about that. You know. Okay. About that. Okay. Um. Do you feel like that uh, either the crowds in the States or the crowds over there have a certain expectation of what they already want the artists to do or, you know, they, they already have something in their I head? Mean, that's everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere people have expectations. It just depends on what kind of crowd. I mean, if it's like a German crowd, 
not to put them all in one box, but I mean, usually they want harder music. You know? Right, right. Industrial I mean, kind of stuff, or well, not so much industrial, but like from your like your Necro, your Sean Price. Right, uh, right, right. You know, your Woo, like okay, you know, okay, okay. Of hard, or you know, some of the like more more gangster cats in that sense of hard, or, you know, really tough raps mm -hmm. and style like that right, right, right. kind of style. Okay. Or like France, it seems more about patterns and how smooth. To the point you go, but also with like movement, like it's dance involved. Right. You know, every place is different. Like Chicago, we three different styles in one city. You know. Right. Right. Yeah, so it just really depends on what you're playing for. Right? All right. And um, tonight you gonna play? I uh, heard a rumor that you might play like some new Andre 3000 up there. Yeah, we are gonna play some of that. I mean, for us, I mean, CC Red is always about playing the new stuff. You know? All right. So I mean. It's funny now with blogs, you know, because they definitely beat everybody to the punch at this point. Right, right, right. For a time, we were that, you know, in the sense of letting you hear what you haven't heard. But I, I have some songs from some people yeah. that, you know, I shouldn't have right now. Right, so right, right. Play some of those tonight as well. All right, so. cool, cool. Hey, and uh, I ain't gonna, I ain't really gonna try to really put you on the spot, but it might be some people, some rumbling, whispering. Like, um, you said you was doing something with a uh, song one and uh, a dot. Yeah, yeah, like the first single to the decade is a song called Now Baby, produced okay. by Mulatto Pastry with Song and the Die. Yeah. Is this in any way, shape, or form <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> connected to, you know, you know, you know what I'm trying yeah. to say? Nah, nah. So do we even need to say that word? Nah, we have to say that word. Even for the people that want to hear that word, we ain't going to say it. I mean, I think it would be dope if people did that, but I mean, that's on the people to do it. You right, know, right, right, right. A lot of different people. Right, 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 right. right. Do no, that's, that's cool. I'm just I'm just getting it from the source. That's yeah, all, you know I mean, what I'm saying? I got songs with a lot of those people. Right, know, right, right. Just look out for those. Right, right, right. There you go. There you, man, people grow up, man, and, and things change, you know, and, uh, you know. I mean, everybody's the same in their hearts. I mean, everybody's the same in heart. The name don't matter, man. Yeah. But uh, the name matter right here, Pugs Adams. <laughs> yeah, 88.5. Yeah, FM, CTA Radio. CTA heavy, Radio. Heavy, heavy. WHPK, Pride of the South Side. Yeah. I am. Yeah, ballerinas. Yeah. Pool of dancers, cowboys. Yeah. Little girls, firemen. All that shit. That's what, that's, what, that's, what I, that's what I'm about. I'm about that, all that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I, I like books. Yeah. <laughs> all right, yo, yo, this is K.O. Razin. Ah, and this is uh, Pugs Adams, Kira Razin, KTV. Check out Pugs' new shit in the States, in Europe. It's going down. Peace, y'all. Yeah.